Hey guys, Papa D here, and I am back out on the range. Welcome to my range here in South Louisiana. So uh, I'm still continuing the healing process. My hand is getting better and stronger each and every day. In fact, today I was supposed to have surgery on my left side. Today is Wednesday, and the doctor came down with COVID, so it is pushed off till Friday of next week. And on the 6th, he said, no matter what, somebody will take and be doing my surgery on my left hand. So my right is coming along, and I've been doing a lot of uh, um, draws, trying to take and just make sure my grip is there, being being able to come out with the gun, get a good purchase on it, and be able to present forward. And the dry fire is great, but you don't know your time frame. So today I've got the timer set up. I am running a black scorpion gear outside the waistband, drop leg holster. It's got a slight drop to it. This one is legal in uh, USPSA production and a couple other classifications, but production is generally the one that uh, I would shoot in if I was going to get back into competition. But I'm shooting a Glock 44 in 22 long rifle. I have Remington Golden bullets, just you know, cheap bullets, just trying to take and conserve a little bit on ammo and be able to practice draws getting on target. So I've got a target in front of me, a paper target. Uh, seven yards in front of uh, this edge of the table so I'm standing behind the table and uh, I'm going to start with some one shots uh, off the timer go to twos and then I'm going to go to uh, two and one two to the body and one to the head I've got two magazines so I've got ten rounds in the gun and ten rounds on my side I'm not going to be doing a speed reload because I'm not there yet I've got to actually shift my grip over on the on the gun in order to get enough pressure with the thumb to um, eject the mag so I don't I could time it if I wanted but I'm not going to anyway I'm just going to run a few rounds we'll take a walk up to the paper target and see how I'm doing after that because uh, the second camera is not going to pick up a 22 hit on paper so let's see what we can do First one is going to be a one-shot drill, one shot uh, off the timer. See where I'm at. Normally, I can do this in you know somewhere around a second, 1.1 seconds, at seven yards, sometimes quicker. A zone hit. 1.32. 1.32. C zone hit, 1.29. I jumped that one. A zone, 1.36. We'll do one more like that. C zone hit. 1.45, two shots this time, two shots off the timer. First shot was high outside of the body target, 1.52. With a 1.27 on my first shot. Two shots. Got to get the first shot in. Both of them inside, 1.61, 1.61. Oh, shoot. I messed that up. But uh, 1.61, and uh, both shots were inside of the body of the uh, target. One point five one with a one point one six first shot. Uh, two to the body, one to the head. So the two to the body are going to be pretty quick. 
and then I'm going to have to slow down and try to get inside that head shot. It's a total of three shots. Good shot on the A zone in the head. 2.75 total. First shot was a 1.36 with a 0.34 split. We'll do that one again. I'm uh, just outside of the A zone on the head shot. I would have skimmed him, I would have parted his hair. First shot was 1.51 with 1.34 splits. I know I've got four rounds. I'll make that, try to put two to the head. That'll empty out this mag. Both headshots were a little high. 3.64 for four shots. First shot was at 1.43, so the first two shots were good. And uh, whenever I went to the upper, to the A zone, it was a 0.7, three quarters of a second in order to get up there. We'll go down there, we'll take a look at these things real quick. Hopefully y'all can see this. So on my draws, I'm consistently on the uh, the bad guy's right side. So I'm I'm pulling a little bit, probably too much finger on the trigger. And these were my head shots that I just barely missed. So I did have one good one, but the other uh, three head shots were out. Uh, the first time I went for a quick shot, I pulled it here. So I've got to do better. And uh, I'm just going to set up some more drills and see what I can do. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stick with me. We're going to take and try something else. All right, guys, as I continue with some uh, drills here, I did uh, a lot of off-camera drills with the 22, the Glock 44, and 22 long rifle on a couple of different targets. I'm not going to say where, I'm, I'm, where I want to be, but I think it's good for today. My hand is not sore and not hurting so that's a good thing I'm not real consistent as far as getting a grip on my gun out of the holster but I'm making progress little by little so I've backed up uh, I've taken the paper target out the way I've got a body size target steel target it's 12 inches wide 20 inches tall I put a green circle on it and I got a second camera on it so I'm gonna be doing the same thing two shots uh, from the holster from the timer and uh, again, I'm not going to do anything super fast, but I do have to see where I'm at. Again, this is just mainly for my shoulder and my hand trying to get back into the movements of being able to um, adequately operate a firearm. So let's make it happen. First one hit, the second one missed. 3.62. And I know I'm going to be slower at 15 yards, uh, smaller target and longer distance. Two good hits. 3.14. 3.14. Three point one six, two good hits. Oh, missed the second one. Two point nine two, so I've got to stay in the three second range, just over the three, in order to keep my hits.
two really good hits on that one. 3.31, 3.31. One shot drills, 10 one shot drills. Two point two seven. I've got to be faster than that. One point nine four, one point nine four. A miss. 1.75 and a miss. Not good. Another miss. 1.96. Got to slow it down. Two point one eight. Good hit. Miss, 1.95. 2.05, looks like just over two seconds is gonna be my sweet spot as far as the, uh, the shots. One point seven nine and a good hit. Lost my sights. Two point two seven. That just not good. Two eleven, two point one one. Guys, you got to know where you are. The timer takes and gives me the uh, point of reference of, as far as what I need to know. I'm going to continue on, empty these mags, take and run a few more rounds, try a few more drills. But uh, appreciate you watching, appreciate you being here, liking, subscribing, sharing, and I will see you down the road on the next video.